Welcome to another Spoolheads Racing Build Journal video. I'm working on the 180 degree open track turn. This is version 4.0. Last time I showed a 45 degree version of that that's right here. It's built so it's modular so that you can insert 22.5 degree inserts inside of it or 45 degree inserts inside of it to make whatever angle you want. Let me show you some of the features that I like of where we're at right now. All right, so the, here's 180 degree version of it. The beginning and the end of the track are the same on each side. And then there's just 22.5 degree inserts right here. I'm going to change that to be 45 degree and then have, and then include one 22.5 so that there's fewer seams. This flex right here is all just, it's totally flexible. You can put this in at whatever angle you want. It's reversible. I found that most people with the crash racers turn were having the in higher anyway. So I didn't have to build that in to the design. I just needed it to be flexible enough to give people a lot of flexibility. So if you wanted this a lot higher, you could go a lot higher or if you want it to just be completely flat you can it can be completely flat with it there still are some a few little errors with it right there there's a little flaw in the design somehow i got to figure out where that's coming from one thing that was different from version three to version four is that on version four i went a little, little bit higher with the bank on version three it seemed like a lot of cars were coming up and hitting the top of the bank hitting that ridge and they weren't completing the turn i it's so funny i feel like the cars know how to turn and that the drivers of the car all should make that turn. But I forget that this is all just make believe. <laughs> the cars really aren't turning. You have to make them turn in the turn. So it's kind of silly that way. Anyway, let's get some cars raced down from this and, uh, and see how it goes. The first thing that I notice as the cars are going through the turn is that they're going through pretty well. One thing that I've caught right off the bat was that the crash racers track and my turn aren't fitting very well on the inside corner right there. You see that? Or with a really low profile just whack right into it so that's going to cause a problem through these tests but that said in general the cars are all following about the same line through the turn at this speed this is just the standard speed of kind of where my track's at right now no one's taking the bank too high for the most part cars are taking the bank though which is a really good sign Cars aren't just uh, going through. Ooh, that was a nice one. That Lancer got quite high on that. The cars are starting to go back to um, the backhand sliding inward on the, like they do on the Crash Racer set on a pretty regular basis. Like it's not completing the turn. One thing that's interesting about this is that on the version three turn, I solved it, but it overcorrected. So one thing on the version three is that they slide inward. They, they start up high and they slide down low. So what's causing that is that the full bank of the turn is ending earlier in version four than it is in version three. In version three, it's a full 180 degrees. And in version four, it was less. I'll, you can look at it right here and see. So splitting the difference with that, I think would really help. Here's version three right here. You'll see cars are coming up and they're just sliding all the way down into that wall. So that's just a little too much. And so I need to split the difference with that. All right, in this section right here, um, I wanna show how cars, when they make a lot of contact in the turn, still have a good chance of making it through. So those two cars right there in a crash racers likely would not have made it through. Um, here's a car completely upside down. Not sure what happened there, but it made it all the way through. This car's got a bent axle or something like that, and it's still able to make it through. Oh, what a great pass right there. The car went really high, kind of comes down low and is able to pull through with a lot of acceleration coming off that bank to be able to finish that pass. Uh, even Cardi Asada is making it through. That's a good sign. And Mingo Tuner. And here's a little Subaru truck, and it made it all the way through. All right, that was just kind of the standard pitch of my track. Um, I'm going to try one with high speed. So we're going to crank this up and uh, crank up the top of the track and really see how fast we can get these cars going. Sorry about the shaky camera work. I was standing on the platform, but the tripod was on, so I'll improve that in the future but here's the high speed i actually just held it the track up as high as i could go and then i started shoving the cars down the track um so they're coming in really fast that subaru that bumps causing a definite roll and so one thing in the design process that i noticed is that it, it's actually creating a little bit of a ramp just a really really small ramp on the in and the exit of the turn um so that's something i need to get fixed um i've got some good ideas on how to do that that was all in the software, it would just kind of forced you to kind of do it that way, but I'll be able to correct it, I think. Here is my favorite part of this video. This Lamborghini gets flipped up. And how many cars does it take to knock it down? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
too. See how high they're going and they're staying up on it too, on that wall, that's so great. And they're not hitting the top edge. It's just a really, really great line. Um, and at this speed, they're really not sliding out nearly as much on the exit as well. So I don't want to overcorrect that. So I might, I might make some adjustment to it, but so cars that are going slower are sliding up, but they're still, I think we're what, six cars and they, none of them have even touched that Lamborghini. Now this, I forget what car that is. I think it's a Tokyo Olympics car or something like that. But now even this right here, to be able to get up and around that is incredible. Now, Car de Asada right here, he uh, takes the speed, takes the turn too fast, hits a rail and slides and flips around it. So you watch this in slow motion. I thought about making the rails bigger, but this is um, evidence to me that I shouldn't. I think we're in a really good place right here. He hits that rail, slides, um, because he's so top heavy and goes all the way around. But now here we're in the game again. Avoid the cars on the inside lane. If you've got good speed, you're not gonna worry about them. There's three, I think he makes it. Yep, three in a row. We're gonna go four. Four in a row, keep it going. Oh, ain't fair, you can count on ain't fair to hit it. But ain't fair struggles with turns, so watch this. Look at how well ain't fair gets up on that Gets up on the bank and just stays up there. Taking a really great line. Slides out the opposite direction. Kind of drifts at the end of that. There were a couple cars that did hit the top bank. I don't know why I sent that one down backward, but um, this Corvette here, it, it hits that top bank and then it comes through, but I'll settle for that. Like I increased the slope of that bank on version four and I think I'm just really happy with where this is at. Key takeaways is first, I need to improve the exit um, into crash racers. If I'm going into the spool heads open track, that'll, that'll connect just fine, but I've got some ideas on how to try and get that crash racers to fit flatter across there. Hopefully I don't have to resort to putting screws in track. That would really stink. The next takeaway is I really like how the cars are taking their line through the turn. Um, whether they're slow or fast, fast certainly gets them higher up on the bank and slow they're still making it through so it's a really great option so it's behaving really well another key takeaway is that at slower speeds the rear ends is sliding towards the center of the track a little bit i think i'm going to extend the bank of the turn out to help the cars complete that turn and hopefully we find a good balance so i don't ruin the beautiful lines that cars are taking out of the turn at higher speeds all in all i'm really excited about where this is at a few more tweaks and we'll get there I'm so excited about this please leave a comment below and let me know what you saw I'd love to hear it. Please consider subscribing and race on friends.